Hi guys, welcome back to the PP show. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Well, um, today's episode is um, very exciting because I have um, a very special person today. She is my senior in college, a good friend and a sister. She became a very successful person already and she's none other than Irene Sungbeni, the proprietor of Homestead Crafts. So uh, welcome to the show. Hey, hi. Thank you, Bibi, for having me. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of your show. Oh, how are you? It's I'm been fine. a long time. Yes. So, so what are you up to these days? I'm just doing my business. Uh huh. The homestead crafts. Yeah, so. I have checked in my Instagram the other day, and they are super exciting. Thank you. And I can't wait to talk about it. And finally, it's yeah. happening. <laughs> So I, I know you in and out, but mm -hmm. I, I don't think my, my audience does. So would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Irene and the proprietor of Humza Graf. Well, I have uh, two brothers and two sisters. My dad is an officer. Uh, he recently got promoted to AIG in the prison department. And my mom is a homemaker. Uh, first of all, um, let me ask you about your homestead crafts. Mm -hmm. How did you start it? How did you get the idea? And then uh, tell me. So yeah, homestead craft was established in the year 2017 when mm -hmm. I was studying in college. Mm -hmm. When so, we were together. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, homestead craft is all about designing jewelry and crafting. Mm -hmm. um, I've been very passionate about making jewelry and that's how homestead craft came into being. Mm -hmm. And yes, I always wanted to be a businesswoman, mm. and I think this was the perfect time to start with. Yes, because yes. Uh, the feeling of earning with uh, by doing what we love is something which not everyone gets to do. It. Mm -hmm. um, it's rare to find people doing things that they love, explore, exactly. and successful. Yeah. and you are one of those. I'm very happy for you, and then I really want to see you soar higher. Thank and you. then do well in whatever you're doing right now. Oh, uh, you came from a government job-oriented family, mm -hmm. like you say. Your daddy is a police mm -hmm. officer, and your identical twins, Iris, is doing you know preparing herself for UPSC, and you going the other direction, right? So, how do your family take your paths? I am pretty sure they must be discouraging sometimes because I've been through the same. So uh, how do you adjust yourself? Um, say like my dad is an officer, but uh, he never demotivate us. Mm -hmm. Or say like uh, we must be in a position that he is now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my dad always say that uh, we must be successful in whatever we do, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. Yes. May, uh, be it a government job or be it a business or whatever job it is, mm -hmm. we must be successful. That 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 is what he encourages us to be. Okay, so, so um, yeah, he have a broad mindset, mm -hmm. and then whatever it is, may it be government sector or private sector, the key to success yes. is hard work. Mm -hmm. We really have to yeah. work hard, and I can see that in you. You have been a hardworking woman, which is why you are becoming this person Thank today, you. which uh, so many young people out there really admires you, and I I want you to work harder. Uh, um, speaking of business, mm -hmm. uh, if we see our Naglin society, mm -hmm. the only form of stability or job is a government yeah. job, right? Yes. And then um, to break through and start your own business or do more of what you love is a scary thing. So what, do you, what is your advice to the young people out there who are dreaming to be like you but mm -hmm. don't have the motivation to follow because they are too scared of yeah. the people out there who will be judging them. Because not everyone is successful, mm -hmm. right? It takes someone special like you who are hardworking. So um, how about those people who are confused and too scared to you know, follow their passion? Do you have any advice for them? Yeah, um, you see, uh, one of my biggest uh, bad peeves is like government job nine. Yeah, mm -hmm. people ask me that. So, you know, I think a uh, government job is not only the job. Whatever job be it, 
if mm -hmm. it makes you happy i think that's more than enough mm -hmm. yeah right yes yes so, yes but uh, just don't be a uh, parasite dependent on your parents earnings right. so yeah there are lots of creatures or say like uh, educated unemployed mm -hmm. yeah, you trending yeah, in there, there many youth. So, yes yes uh, there are many people waiting and preparing for the government job so mm -hmm. i just want to encourage them to try and develop other skills in the meantime as a plan b mm -hmm. if they don't success in then the searching first. for yeah for the government jobs yeah yes. so uh, you know what if it, it's okay to dream to be a government mm -hmm. employee but then if you don't become one it's all right if plan a fails the alphabet has another yes. letter is go for plan b c yes. d e yeah there are many more so they can um, set up any plan uh, yeah. so that they can earn in the meantime mm -hmm. in the midst when they are in search of common jobs yes yes so, that's yeah. but uh, i think if you're truly passionate about uh doing what you want to be let me tell you that the only way to get there is being consistency mm -hmm. Being consistent. Yeah, consi being consistent. I think it's the only key to reach your goal. Your goal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. So don't stop. Start working harder and smarter. It will definitely lead you to a brighter life. Mm -hmm. That that's a powerful yeah. message. So don't just sit idle. To, to mm -hmm. my audience, if you're just sitting there waiting for for a stable job, mm -hmm. I don't think the job will come to yeah. you. You have to go and look for the job. You have to be so, smart. So um, yeah. for me, no job is too sophisticated and no job is too small. I mean, at the end of the day, we all are working hard to put food on our table. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you work, earn your own money and then spend, the, the joy is different. Yeah. You can feel that, the, right? Um, the the, the uh, happiness of earning by yes. what we do is uh, very the joy of yeah. driving your own car, yes. spending <laughs> your own money, yeah. <laughs> just like we did, right? <laughs> so I, I want to encourage my audience, especially the young people out there, don't just stay idle, yeah. don't just stay home and depend on your parents. I think it's really high time. We uh, Our world is developing every day and accordingly we have to update ourselves. So, um, so yeah, put your lazy ass up and start doing something just like you, Bibi. Oh. I just remember back in the college days, people mocking at you and now look at you where you are at. Oh, you are now hosting a show and I'm here with you. I, I never knew that someday we will sit together like yeah, this in <laughs> camera and talk about our hard days. Yeah. I, I remember, I vividly remember those incidents, mm -hmm. people really talk behind my back and then mocking at me, but you and Iris always, you know, give my back. <laughs> <laughs> and which is why we're here today, yeah, of course. encouraging yeah. people. It's okay, all, all these are always there, be prepared, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we must be prepared in uh, whatever uh, we do because people are always there to criticize us mm -hmm. and people are always there to mock at us, but mm -hmm. we just have to be ready. It is on us yes. how we take yes. all those hardships yes. and just difficult it, people. Yeah, we just have to take it in a positive way. Uh, we should actually thank those difficult people in our lives. They mm -hmm. actually exactly. make us stronger. Exactly. <laughs> um, so um, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for sparing your precious time and Welcome. being here on my show, Irene Sungbeni. Thank you. <laughs>